actually about to shoot some content and I just wanted to show you guys how I get ready for the day. It's going to be a little super basic because I'm not going anywhere, which I'll explain to you why, but it's still going to be cute enough to shoot some content in. First, before we get into anything, sis, are you subscribed? Can you get the bell notifications? I don't think so because I'm new and I understand, but I'm going to give you that chance. Go ahead, subscribe to my channel. Um, go ahead, subscribe to my channel. I am focused on fashion, trend, style, beauty, a lot of streetwear, a lot of hair. You know, you know, you like that too. Go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell notifications because I don't really know a set schedule yet, but when I establish one, I will let you know. But until then, just go ahead and hit the bell notification. Also, let me just do a disclaimer. My son has the flu, so you're going to hear some coughing in the background. Struggle bus over here. He's home with me for five to seven days. Moment of silence for my social life, okay? Yes, so <laughs> you're going to hear that coughing. Anyways, before I get into it, I'm going to go ahead and take a shower. Take this off my hair. I already washed and blow dried and flat my hair last night. So we're just gonna go ahead and style it and then do this face. It's looking very radiant this morning, shall I add two? Okay, thank you. And then I'm gonna pour me a cup of coffee because this needs some energy, you know, I'm dealing with the flu over here. But yeah, I'm going to go take that shower and then I will be back at my room. Hey y'all, so got out the shower. Feel oh, amazing. Let's get right to it. You're gonna hear that, so let's just <laughs> move past that, okay? Let's move past. Okay, so first I'm going to um, do my old but as do the lip balm on my lips, just to keep them hydrated. I'm going to do my face first and um, my hair last, because that's just how I prefer. Also, but first. <laughs> All right, so let's get into it. My, um, I also want to say I posted a video with my foundation routine that's been filmed maybe like a month ago. It's kind of changed since then. I still use those two foundations, but what I used before, after, whatever has been changed. Um, so with that, I use a new primer. The um, Milk Primer, it is amazing. The Hydro Grip Primer, girl. Shout out to Brianna on YouTube for putting me on this one. All right, so a little bit about me. My name is Nicole Jackson, N-E, N-E. It's pronounced Nicole, okay? Nicole Jackson, just for anybody wondering. Not Nicole, Nicole, okay. <laughs> I'm so very particular about my name because you know it's my name now so I started this thing where I'm just correcting people when saying my name like let's pronounce it right okay also I already did my skincare oh, forgot to say this did my skincare um, that can be in another video but that's not gonna be in this video so I did my skincare I washed my hands which I'm very particular about if you know me anything with skin I wash my hands like thoroughly so did that um so i'm already all set for the makeup so i am 28 years old i am from prince george's county maryland you know what they say pretty girl county um but yeah basically the dmv for people if you don't know pg county it's right in the outskirts of dc it's one of the most what are we deem like the richest county in the world with the fluent black people know us <laughs> apparently um what else i graduated from north carolina a t state university aggie pride um <laughs> shout out to my aggies out there that's watching and um yeah where are you sorry y'all i left my blender because i had washed it sorry y'all it's a little struggle too i need a new one but i love my blender I don't like to let it go but anyway so i graduated from north carolina a t state university um in greensboro north carolina with my bachelor's in mass communications and a print concentration in an english minor so 
your girl knows her writing, clearly. <laughs> Graduated in 2013. Um, I was heavily involved there. If you know me, you know me. My name was out there. I was in like everything, editor, newspaper. I was NAACP president. I was <laughs> in a student, shoot, I forgot what it's called. SUAB, which we helped plan homecoming and events on campus. Um, I was in everything out there. I loved college, best four years. And if you don't hit me in my comments about homecoming, since I cannot help you. Well, you know, if you see me out there, then I can help you, but I can't help you with, you know, a place to stay because I don't live there. love Maryland DC that's like my first well actually I always wanted to live in New York if you ask anybody like on my graduation cap it was New York New York I interned in New York like New York was where I wanted to be um and I did want to go there after graduation but honestly New York is just too expensive it's not like a feasible place to live and now that I have a little mini me like it will be irresponsible to even try to move there if I don't got stacks in my pocket so hopefully I get stacks in my pocket and maybe I can make my dream come true but right now I'm not moving just anywhere in New York like I care about school systems I care about things um so yes foundation already looking flawless so I just um yeah love to like blend this in make sure it's like all blended in because I'm mixing too and I love to blend it in my um, in my eyes everywhere. Alright. What else? What else should I say about me? What else should I say about me? Um so yeah, I moved back here after graduation and I've worked in an industry as I've said. I've interviewed a lot of people. Um, my most notable one or for me my most notable one is Camille Friend from Black Panther I love her she's such an amazing person uh, I love interviewing people and like the chemistry is there and the relationship lasts outside of the interview shout out to Camille if you're watching this <laughs> she was the head stylist for Black Panther for um the movie with Lupita and she's holding the knife um Charlie's Angels she's done it all she's such an amazing person She's so like, I don't think gets to claim the flame that she should. But anyway, um, yes, I work for with uh, the hair industry, which is mostly Korean. If you did not know, um, I'm most I work with mostly the hair industry in that aspect. Um, and now I'm just you know trying to create my own content. So I'm gonna take the Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics, the, the uh, Luminous Powder and Brilliant. I like to set my foundation with this. It's amazing. Jacqueline, you made a good comeback girl with this. I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows. Um, I'm gonna kind of speed this up because I'm a little long with my brows and it takes me a little longer. So um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do a speed up of this and then we can get back to getting ready for me and getting me money. So I went ahead and built in my eyebrows. I'm gonna go ahead and um, clean them up a little bit. I'm using the NARS concealer in Carmel. Everything clearly is Carmel for me. I'm flat flat with brown eyes. Carmel complexion. Y'all remember that song? <laughs> that used to be my song though. Yes, girl. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and clean up my eyebrows. Let's see a little bit else about me. Um, I'm a runner. I started running maybe, well, I always did like a casual run to lose weight or, you know, get that cardio in, get a little skinnier. Um, but I started really running uh, after I had my son. And 
it was just a good like stress relief for me and then um, I met a person from my alma mater from ANC who started a run club in DC and I started running with them and just been running since this day it's so funny because when I started running I was like I'm not running a race like I'm just running these three miles four miles and that's it and it's turned into me running like three half marathons Ooh, thank you for your service thank you Congratulations. in the rain go, go. hair done go. training um or soon to be training for my first full 26.2 marathon so pray for your pray like seriously pray for your girl because 13.1 miles like I pushed through on that but then to turn around and do that again I'm like in the in disbelief myself that like you're actually gonna do that so I don't know uh, well it's not I don't know a, a girl paid for a ticket so we're doing it okay that ticket is expensive we're doing it <laughs> so yeah so I am so now I consider myself really like a runner. When I first started, I didn't think I was a runner. Um, I wouldn't consider myself a runner, but I really do consider myself a runner now. Um, so yeah, I run quite a few races. And I, I just love the feeling of running, like pushing your body. And, and going to where you never you know pushing it to where you never thought you could and seeing the end result and getting that medal it ain't nothing like getting that medal around your neck after you just push through on the race i swear so sorry i'm just going to tweeze my eyebrows um i need to get them done i go through periods where i like to grow them out and i haven't gotten them done since i want to say november when i was in a wedding so um I really just need to go ahead and get them done because uh, because I'm just it, it's taking me longer right now to do my eyebrows than it normally usually do but I actually like doing my eyebrows when they're not really done because I can like define it the way I want and I like them thick and it's, it's I'm, I'm weird when it comes to eyebrows but anyway I'm not gonna do any um or you know what I am gonna do a little bit of eyeliner I'm not gonna do a wing though because I'm not gonna do lashes I do I have lashes a bitch has lashes oh we're doing a wing <laughs> so yeah I have a lot I have lashes we're doing a wing so so yeah I'm a runner I run with my son Speaking of which, I have a son. <laughs> he is five years old. I won't really talk about him too much because um, if you can tell by my Instagram, I'm very private about my son. This is, you know, my outlet, not his. And I'm very, very private when it comes to him. So, um, but yeah, I am a mom, a solo mom, meaning I solely take care of my son. I don't consider myself like a single mom. I'm just spraying my blender down with the Maya Badescu spray the aloe cucumber and green tea spray because it's just, um, not as damp as I would like it and I just kind of want to blend out my eye um but I consider myself a solo mom not a single mom because I solo take care of myself okay and I'm proud of it well I'm not proud of it but I'm proud to be mastering this shit the way I like <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out Excuse me if I hear you hear my little chair squeak. <laughs> Let's see. I'm trying to move it so you don't see too much of the background. But it is what it is. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and go away. Fashion. Honestly, I've been one of those girls that has collected those magazines. Um sorry, it's my son. I collected Vogue magazines when I was little and grew up watching Double Wears Prada and like my prom dress sounded off the cover of Teen Vogue. Emma Roberts was uh, wearing a, a 
off the runway DKNY dress when DKNY was like bomb um, and I still have the dress now but I've just always been into like fashion and creating my own trends and my own style and don't get me wrong I do follow trends and style but I'm very much in tune with what I like what um, my mood is for the day and also very much into comfort and comfort but cute you know um so I find a very much a medium with the both of that and I think that's what separates my channel from a lot of other channels um you know I'm very realistic with my style and some days I don't want to wear like you know uh big heels and an oversized dress and in Gucci leggings and socks and stuff like I want to be chill I want to wear like a vintage sweatshirt and I want to you know be still cute but I want to be comforting like I want to I, I want to wear what what my mood is so I think that separates me a lot from other people how did I get into makeup so makeup was very weird I wasn't like a big makeup person but when um, I was pregnant with my son, I literally like was so bored <laughs> and some like when I was on maternity leave and stuff, I really had nothing to do. So I um, got into YouTube a lot and it's like I never, I never was like a big makeup person and I post like I wore MAC foundation and and I hate to say like MAC foundation but if you knew MAC foundation like a couple of years ago like that's when they had an orange and red undertones and clearly as you see I am not that undertone so I don't even want to imagine but that's when I wore like those like just straight foundation and I would do just like a red lip and then I would just do um eyeshadow at the bottom of my waterline and yeah like I when I really started getting into makeup um it was through just watching like my favorite honestly is um Jaclyn Hill I really really love Jaclyn Hill and just how she um how she, in her channel and just her original content when she first started and not only that but like makeup Shayla and um Jackie Aina, those, and It's My Ray Ray. I love It's My Ray Ray because she made things, you know, that were affordable. So that's when I really started to get into makeup. And then I really um, invested time in purchasing like quality makeup. And um, not only that, I made my vanity that's in my room currently that I'm sitting at now. Um, I made that. So that's how I pretty much started in makeup was pregnant and bored and you know just watching YouTube videos and seeing how people did it and, and seeing what works with skin and and what was best and um and I'm very much I don't know I'm very much into you know skincare and I am a firm believer in if you don't take care of your skin underneath then you your makeup will not look the best that it will be so I'm very much into skincare and um making sure that I my makeup is a one so I never have like a big thing where it's like okay I don't drink enough water because I run and I work out a lot so um water is constantly what I drink and I don't drink sodas and I don't really drink juice so I'm always just either drinking coffee or water it's one or the other and I only drink like one cup of coffee a day so it's mostly water so I'm always making sure that my I'm always hydrated and not only that but um, my skin on my body is hydrated yes. <laughs> let's see what else about me um, I don't travel a lot but I'm like a big music head if you know me you know I love 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 J. Cole he's my favorite rapper I'm very much into like rap music um, so I listen to a lot of like J. Cole, Jay-Z, I'm a big Pharrell fan, a big, um, Drake fan. I'm a really like a big day one Drake fan, but I'm like, 
I used to be very vocal about it, but I think because everybody is like on the Drake wagon, I'm very like hush, but I'm very vocal about J. Cole because he's so underrated. Um, and I love like the whole dream bill he's doing for like Boz and Ari Linux and um, Earth, Earth Gang and um, J.I.D. I love them all. Um, and I'm very, I'm very into like music is one of my main things I'm into. If you see my Instagram page, I have like a mood section which I'll pop up right there and then that's where I just play the songs that I love with the outfits that I've worn so a lot of the song well all the songs that are on there are just songs that I love like I listen to all the time um I listen to Kate Trinata I listen to I, I'm very like different in my music like and especially I'll listen to Future I listen to Young Thug love Young Thug um I love him he's so underrated um I listen to Baby I listen to anything like i listen to anything but if you go in my car and you list um the three artists that are in my car right now um with cds because i with artists that i love i buy cds um and the cds that are in there it's probably like four j coles one drake and um future dirty sprite too <laughs> i listen to dirty sprite too when i'm like on a mission or I'm about to go out and I need to like live my best life real quick but back to music I listen to a girl um I don't really travel that much but I invest money and time into uh concerts I'm really big and I would travel sometimes for concerts like the best like I lastly just traveled to um Astro World in Houston when Travis Scott first had it, and that's how long I literally travel. I don't travel that much because of my son, um, but that literally was the best concert. Like I've always said, Kanye West concert was the best concert, but Travis Scott. I think just because it was hometown in Houston. Like I went to Astro World in Houston. I didn't go to the well. I did go to the DC concert too, but I went to Astro World in Houston, and I swear to you the best fucking concert I've ever been to in my life. And like, it was super lit. And then not only that, like, even the attractions, like, we went on the rides and stuff, like, it was just an overall like amazing festival like i would definitely go and even afterwards i ran into a friend that we went to a and t with and chilled with him for that night so it was like really dope it was a really dope experience and i think the next day we went to a day party and got whew, like houston i really if you're from houston please hit me up because i gotta go back like i had the best time in fucking houston the best time but yeah, so I honestly too want to see what type of stuff you all would like to see on my channel. Like, I don't want to do the same things that everybody does. I don't mind doing like get ready with me or, or maybe even like some vlogs. Um, but I don't want to do the same thing. Like, I really want to do different content. I want to do like behind the scenes and I want to do interviews too. Like, or what I've learned from different people. Like, different... Um, makeup artists different um skincare specialists specialists specialist specialist <laughs> um different estheticians you know the people that i meet in the hair industry even stylists like i really want to do different content and make this like very like informative and like very realistic you know i just don't for me it's like i don't want to share like i want to share what helps with me but then i also want to learn you know what works and i want you guys to learn it too so um yeah so i'm gonna take the mac um eternal sun blush which is my favorite blush i don't have a lot of brush um because i don't like that much color to my cheeks but i love this one I'm going to take that and I'll lighten up my cheeks. Yeah, I don't like a lot of blush at all. Um, and then 
pro tip i'm going to before i do my highlighter i'm going to spray down my um if i can find oh here it is. before i do my highlighter i'm going to spray down my face first with the urban decay to slick um and by spraying it first it holds your highlighter better and makes it pop more um applying it after you spray your face so i'm going to I'm gonna spray my face and lastly well before we even apply that I'm gonna go ahead and do my hair all right y'all so I went ahead and did my hair added some curls to it looks amazing along with a little baby hair and yes your girl is flourishing okay okay so lastly, just gonna go ahead and do my lips. I'm gonna use a um, MAC cork liner. Don't worry about how bad this looks. You just know it sticks with your girl uh, and it does the trick. So I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips with this. And then I'm going to add, just drop it, MAC Cherish. And I do this as a base. I only do like a little bit of it. I just started adding it back to my routine. And then I'm going to do my tried and true Jennifer Lopez, um, the Burnt Sienna lip gloss i love this i usually wear it without the matte but i'm gonna do it with it it's been like my new go-to to go check on my son and get ready to film some content so i will see you guys